This moment we are standing in is a beautiful answer to this little cross prayers. 2015, dear future husband, I'm only 14, but I pray you are strong today. Dear future husband, for 16 year old me. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for a man who strengthens me in God's word and his love. A man who is respectful and hardworking and will always kiss me the word of good night. Lord God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this joyous, beautiful day that you've given us, Lord. The, the amount of prayers and dreams that have come, Lord, just for this moment is just unreal. I just pray you just bless this day, Lord, be in it. Bless Rachel, Lord, protect her, Lord. She's, she's so beautiful, Lord. I can't wait to see her soon, God. Just thank you for her and everything she's done in my life, the joy she has been to my life. It's unreal, Lord. I never thought I'd be here. It's only because of you, God. Welcome, beloved family and friends. We are gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of this company to unite Michael and Rachel and holy matrimony. It's God that joins us together that we can have the deepest and most beautiful and powerful relationship with our spouse, that God's given that to us. He loves us, he cares about us. I'm stoked, it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be beautiful. April 9th, 2021, you were placed in my life, not found. I didn't come looking for you. You were placed in my life when I deserved you the least. And you didn't keep me the same. You didn't make me worse, but you made me better. I want you because I know who you are. Today I'm marrying you because I know you are from God. And because I really like your face. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, I have had the pleasure of knowing you for a very long time, although this past year is when we've gotten the closest. Um, you are a constant example to me of a strong woman of God. All your stories where you're sharing with your clients, these random people who you've never met, and you're touching their lives in ways that they've never had someone touch their lives before. Your voice, your love for people, how much you care has amazed me for the last year that I've known you and beyond that. Uh, I got to know Mikey probably four or five years ago. Rachel, he's one of the stupidest, most caring, loving, kind and considered people you'll ever meet. Right, I'm, you did a good job marrying this one. Um, when I met Rachel, we bonded over some of the lowest moments of our lives. From that point forward, I've grown alongside her, watching her achieve her goals, deepen her love for Christ, help and love others, which inspired me to do the same. Her drive, her perseverance and her friendship has been such a vital part of my journey. Mikey, you are a strong man, you're a leader, you're a provider, you're a teacher, and I'm amazed at how God worked out Mr. and Mrs. Extra so perfectly. <laughs> you guys are you guys are amazing. I know after waiting for this day for so long, this might feel like the finish line, but we all know it's really far from that, that this is the beginning of your unity, and what's ahead is all the joys and trials of marriage. My biggest prayer and dream in life was to have a wife a partner and friend, one I could cherish and love, someone I could take on life with and support when it got hard, one that could one day raise my kids in full love and compassion, and one that can be my support. Rachel, you've exceeded those prayers and dreams. You're a rare gem that I've been blessed with that my mind still can't comprehend. You're beyond beautiful, even high glaciers can't describe it. <laughs> Your marriage is as strong as your commitment to a common vision and a common foundation of pursuing Christ. I pray that your marriage is exciting and fulfilling, and I pray that you use this as a gift to push each other toward Christ as you glorify God through your marriage. Right to the cross to understand that this is Him doing it for me, that you're made spotless, that I'm made spotless, that we're washed, we're cleansed, and we're going to be with them. And I love your vows <laughs> until that day. Man, we're going to be with them one day. 
my beautiful bride. I promise to always be your encourager, to always lift you up and be by your side. I promise to always respect you, to honor, to love, and to cherish you. I promise through the trials that I will seek the Lord our God for strength and wisdom, peace and guidance. I want to promise you I will do my best. I promise to choose you, to love you in the hardest and most beautiful times. I promise you in this marriage I will continue to put God first and grow from His Word and His love for us. I promise to be your helper. I promise to continue to pray for you genuinely. And none of this is said lately. <laughs> oh, it's so shiny. Yeah. <laughs> I promise to be a leader and encourager for our family, to guide them in the faith and foundation set before us. I promise to, in sickness and in health, rich or poor, be by your side and always love and support you for as long as people shall live. I love you, and I can't wait to have the honor of being called your husband, as well as the joyous honor to call you my beautiful wife. To the day we hear, well done, my good and faithful ones. Till death do us part, I will respect you as my husband, as the Lord has given me this breathtaking opportunity to be your wife. I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Mikey, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> because of him. This, this right here, he's the one who brought you guys together. Right? He's blessed you with all these, all these friends and family. Just remember that it's him. It's Jesus. So keep him the center. You'll be fine. I want to offer one word of advice. Spend tonight looking into each other's eyes like the little lovebirds you are. Remember the endless prayers that you whispered hoping for the one. Remember the God you serve because you should always look back at this moment and find peace in the fact that this was and is a good thing. So no matter what, you'll persevere. Marriage is so full of blessings and His promises are good. Love each other always and we'll be right behind you, loving on you too. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Herrera. Thank you.